guys, I'm back with another packing video. Uh, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was preparing for this upcoming two-part vacation, um, which is a one-week vacation, but we're spending the first half of it in Las Vegas and the second half of it in Pennsylvania. And they're sort of pol polar opposite kind of vacation vibes, all packed into one week's worth of stuff. So I wanted to, to film this video, even though I have a myriad of packing videos already that I filmed here and there over the past two years. But, um, you know, I reached out in my check-in video and asked if you guys would be interested in seeing yet another packing video, and everybody said, yay, more packing videos. So here I am. Uh, and I also wanted to showcase some of the pieces I bought during the Container Store travel sale, which just ended um, just recently, just like a week ago. But um, they're the Eagle Creek Hovercraft wheeled luggage pieces. I bought two of the 28-inch size, which are these big ones in the back, and two of the 22-inch size, but I only packed one of them for this trip. Um, they are technically allowed, the, the size requirements for um, carry-on luggage, these are just at the cost of making it for that, but I packed this specifically as a um, checked baggage bag and I, originally I was just going to check the two big bags and then we were going to take the one on the plane but after thinking about it and not really wanting to have to deal with possibly not being able to fit this bag on the plane if it um, we're, we're traveling on some regional sized jets which are really small airplanes um, so I decided to just check check the bag and just not have to worry about it and not have to deal with that that kind of issue. But I wanted to show you guys how I packed them and I do that as well as show you my preparation for this trip. Now this trip was particularly challenging for me to prepare for because, um, like I mentioned, it's a two-part trip. We're spending four nights in Las Vegas and three nights in Pennsylvania. Well, I had to pack completely different clothes for both trips because they're so different, not only in just climate, but also in sort of vibe and what's appropriate. So Las Vegas, you know, is, is more of a laid-back, kind of relaxed uh, situation this particular trip. Uh, we are going to some fun shows and some nice dinners, but, you know, the wardrobe necessities aren't quite as strict. Um, and it's also going to be super-duper hot because late June, early July in Las Vegas is pretty hot. So I packed accordingly. I packed kind of our lighter fare and more fun, just sort of easy-going clothes. Now, the second leg of the trip, we're going to be in Pennsylvania, and it's a complete, total opposite experience, where where we're staying has a very strict dress code, even, you know, just not even for dining, just to be at the place. Um, so I had to pack completely different clothing for that. Um, and also, you know, the dining dress code is actually uh, pretty strict as well, where you know, jacket and, and ties are required, so I had to pack some of Don's nicer clothes, which take up a lot of room in themselves, just because they're, you know, men's jackets just take, they're bulky, they take up room, and Don is a broad guy, and I mean, his clothes take up, take up space, and also I needed to pack completely different clothes and even shoes for myself to be more appropriate for the Pennsylvania leg of the trip. So there was a lot of stuff that I physically had to fit in these bags and a lot of planning that had to go into it because you normally when we go on a week-long trip I think of reusing certain pieces especially when it comes to like shoes for me um, and like accessories like handbags and um, bathing suits and things like that whereas this trip I basically packed for two separate trips but in one set of luggage um, so I thought that might be interesting for some of you to see. I apologize if this seems redundant, but packing is, is one of my fortes. I always felt very confident about my packing ability. Um, we travel quite a bit and have, and I traveled you know, quite a bit growing up as well. And so I've had a lot of practice. Um, so that helps as well. Practice makes perfect, but I think it's nice to have you know, one thing at least that you're pretty confident in yourself that you excel at. Even if nobody else thinks you're good at it, if you're confident in yourself that you excel at that one thing and can feel proud about it, then all the more power to you. And for me, 
that's packing. Packing is what I think I excel at in terms of organization as well as just any general thing that you're good at. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you my prep work and I filmed the actual packing process so you can see how I pack these bags. I have not actually used them yet but just from packing in them I can already say that I'm absolutely incredibly in love with them and can't wait to see how they do on the flight. Um, I'm hoping to launch my blog soon and as soon as I do I will post a review about how the actual traveling with the bags went. But here we go, let's get into the prep work and the actual packing and then I'll catch up with you guys at the end. Well it's that time again. Time when Winnie pouts because I'm packing. As you can see I have laid everything out, practically everything, about 98% of what I'm going to be packing. It's Wednesday now, we're leaving on Friday. I plan to have this all in the suitcase, suitcases I should say, there they are, a massive amount of them, tonight. So I will be packed two days early and that leaves me tomorrow to deal with getting the house ready, getting my dog ready, all that stuff. So I thought before I put everything in the little packet cubes and all that and started packing, I would show you kind of what I've done. Um, like I mentioned, this is a two-part trip. It's actually been kind of a pain to pack for because I'm trying to figure out how I want to pack things. And I just realized that I am going to separate a lot of things, but some things I can't separate. So I will just repack the bags on Monday when I have to pack to go, you know, when we're leaving Vegas to go to Pennsylvania. I'll just kind of have to re rethink some things. But mostly it's pretty organized. So I have all of my stuff on this side of the bed and all of Dawn's stuff, stuff on the other side. I do pack for my husband. We both prefer it that way. Um, I have, um, I'll just go through quickly, show you what I've got. Uh, well, I guess this begins over here. I've got day dresses for Vegas. It's going to be very hot, so I thought dresses would be a good option. I am bringing one pair of shorts and a few tank tops and things, but mostly dresses. I have my nights, four nights out of dresses. I have the um, handbag that I'm bringing. I'm only bringing one. It's this little coach one that I bought actually last year when I went to Vegas. Um, and I'm just going to use that day and night, I think. I don't really want to pack a lot of handbags, so there it is. I have all of my nighties and robe and underwear and daytime socks uh, packed in this thing. And those are all for Vegas. So those are all the Vegas kind of dressier things and then dresses, things I'm leaving hanging. And then over here is my dresses for Pennsylvania. I've got three, two nights and a dinner. It's pretty formal. Uh, Fourth of July dress. I got this at the Gap earlier this year. It's so cute. And I'm going to put this little J. Crew flower around it. I've had that forever. And then this little daytime dress. We're playing golf two of the days and then the other day we'll be at the pool for most of the day. When we're not at the pool, we might go to town and go shopping. So I just have this little J. Crew dress to wear. And I have my white Kate Spade bag that goes with all of these things. Uh, and then all of the stuff for Pennsylvania that I had, you know, separated for Vegas, so my nightgown and, and socks and underwear, all that kind of jazz. So I have that all laid out there. I've got my shoes. Those two at the end are for Pennsylvania, and these ones are for the Vegas and total trip. Um, I've got my running shoes. I will be wearing my walking ASICS shoes on the plane, and I can also use those to train in. I do normally use cross trainers when I do cross training, but I don't want to bring like 8,000 pairs of shoes, so there you have it. I thought that was pretty reasonable for the shoes that I'm bringing. Um, and then I have all of my clothes on this half here. You can see um, from here over it's like all together, both trips, and then just Vegas. So I've got bathing suits for Vegas. Um, I already packed up my bras and one of the Eagle Creek packet cubes, which are great for bras. I've got my workout clothes for Vegas. And I have kind of just regular t-shirts and some travel things and shorts, like I mentioned. And um, then over here I have all of my golf clothes for Pennsylvania. Um, a sweater because it's actually cooler in Pennsylvania for the um, dinners. And then I have bathing suits for that trip and a cover-up for that trip and a hat for golf. It's a much more conservative kind of atmosphere, so I've got, you can see, I think it's kind of funny, I've got the Vegas bathing suits, which are like all bright and kind of, you know, whatever. And then these ones are just kind of regular. 
And then I have running clothes for Pennsylvania. It is much cooler. I plan on running outside. Um, so I have my Garmin and all of my running stuff. I plan on just running, using the gym treadmill in Vegas because it's just way too hot. And then I have a couple pack of cubes out ready to go get filled for me. And then I have all Don's stuff over here. So starting with his dress stuff, I have actually these two Brooks Brothers coat hanging bags are both for Pennsylvania trip because it's a jacket required kind of environment where we're bringing just Tommy Bahama shirts and nice slacks for him for Vegas. Um, but I packed the majority of his fancy clothes for Pennsylvania in this one and then I have just one outfit in this one because I'm concerned about a connecting flight and it's jacket required like I said so we're actually going to bring my, outf my dinner outfit and his dinner outfit for the night that we're traveling um, in a carry-on bag, just, just better safe than sorry, and all of our like fancy shoes and all that. Um, I fit uh, some of his ties in this little half cube, uh, packet cube from Eagle Creek, very cute. Like I mentioned, there is, um, what, what do I want to say? Yeah, I'm going to be carrying some things on the plane for that. I'm just worried about the connecting flight and our bag like not getting there because we're not actually staying anywhere near the airport. It's like an hour and a half drive away from the airport. So I, I filled this with the socks and underwear and stuff he'll need for that night and the next day. And I'll put some of my things in there too on Monday when I switch up the packing job and in Vegas. And then, oh, I just realized his underwear is kind of sitting out. Well, it's man underwear. Who cares? I'm just going to move it. <laughs> um, I had Don's boxers out, which will go in packet cubes. I should have done that already. I have t-shirts for him, undershirts, um, the Tommy Bahama shirts and golf shirts and his nice slacks for Vegas and all of his shorts and swim trunks and all that. I'm not separating his clothes quite as much. I will probably not put them all out when we're in Vegas and I'm unpacking because if I put them all out, he'll wear them all. He just, he doesn't plan ahead like that. But I did separate his socks. So I've got dress socks and regular socks. One pack of cube is for Vegas and one is for Pennsylvania and then his fancy belt and his flip-flops and his sneak is nice, nicer shoes and then he will be wearing sneakers on the plane and our golf stuff will obviously be packed in our golf bag. Um, and then I laid out, here is all the non-clothing items. So these are all toiletries, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, supplements and such, this is my beach uh, or pool bag stuff I should say. A way huge amount of um, sunscreen. We like are crazy about sunscreen. And I have, um, I, th I do this, uh, recently I've gotten into the habit of doing this, just getting money kind of set aside to leave for the cleaning service that cleans the rooms in the hotels. I leave uh, some money in the morning and then at night if there's a turn down service and I just like bringing it separate so I have it and we don't have to like go scrambling around for the right denomination of bills or whatever. Um, this is all shower stuff. This is my new case for my nail polish, travel nail polish case. I'm really excited about that. I can do like a little review on that at some point if you guys are interested. Gosh, I have so many toiletry cases, I know. And then this is all makeup stuff. My mirror is in here, brushes, makeup, and accessories. And then I just kind of started laying out a bit of my carry-on stuff over here. Um, kind of basic things, my headphones, the magazine, my Kindle will get packed. This is my walking pharmacy bag for the airplane for travel. Um, and I already took out the liquid things and put them in the three ounce, you know, three ounce containers or less in the quart sides of block bag as is required. This is the blanket, I kind of call this a blanket, although it's a really big scarf from Lululemon that I always take on the plane just in case it's freezing and fuzzy socks, same reason. I've decided to start carrying just all of my jewelry with me since I now have this really nice rolling tote from Vera Bradley. It's very roomy. Um, I, I previously would just take my like really nice irreplaceable jewelry with me on the plane to carry it on hand, but now I'm just taking the whole thing since I got this from the container st store travel sale. And if you missed that haul, I'll post a link below. But here you can see I've got earrings, gold colored earrings, silver earrings. Um, these are some bracelets and a little ring. These are all bangles. These are all necklaces. 
And then these are, I'm bringing four watches because I'm kind of a watch crazy person like that. And then some of my nicer jewelry for when we're in Pennsylvania. So I'm just going to keep that with me on the plane. I've got my sunglasses and all that. And um, I just have my little bin out that has my packet cubes and things like that in it just in case I need more when I'm doing the actual packing. And lastly, I have our new... Uh, suitcases. These are the Hovercraft collection from Eagle, Eagle Creek, which again I showed in great detail on my Container Store Travel Sale haul. I don't know how many of these bags I'm bringing. I'm expecting to bring the two big ones for sure and possibly just one of the two little ones. I don't know. I th we're definitely bringing at least one because one's going to be a carry-on so we can put our clothes in them. Like I said, I'm worried about, um, you know, our bags for that one kind of hairy connection <laughs> um, and not getting our bags in time would be kind of disastrous for the place we're going because there's kind of a strict dress code but um, I, I have to like really double check and make sure that's allowed because it looks huge to me I mean my little rolling tote I know is allowed it actually fits under this seat and I've flown with it in first class I've flown with it in economy plus and I've flown with it in coach on many different airlines and it fits in all three situations. Um, so I think this is okay. I think, you know, if it's just a smaller plane, they'll just check this at gate, gate side check. Um, but that'll be Don's carry on. I doubt he'll want to bring his backpack if he has that because the only things he brings on the plane are really his iPad and his Kindle and his earphones. That's all he brings on the plane. So he can easily tuck those into the front of the bag. But I just want to make sure that this is. Um, carry on friendly before I make a decision about that. And that's the, the bulk of the planning I've done here, the prep work. I have my travel outfit laid out already, as usual, as well as my jewelry that I'm gonna wear on the day that we're traveling. I always just plan those things when I'm packing because then it's done, I don't have to think about it on travel day. I've already thought about it when I was packing and doing the prep stuff. And then over here I got out Don's headphones are all charged up, ready to go, the shorts he's going to wear on the plane. And then these things are things I can't pack yet because I don't have duplicates of them. Um, they're things I'll have to pack on the morning of travel, not the little funnel. I was just decanting some things into travel size bottles. But um, I'm just leaving them out on the counter just for a few days, which I don't usually like to leave anything on the counter. But just so I make sure to remember to pack those things the morning of travel. And I did go ahead, as usual, print out the extended forecast. It's going to be very hot, hot, hot in Vegas and pretty nice in Pennsylvania, it looks like. And as usual, I have my don't forget list where I've started thinking about things that I can't pack really into the last minute. And uh, I want to make sure that as I think of them, I just write them down. It makes life a lot easier. So I'm going to start packing these things up into smaller compartmentalized kinds of things using the packet cubes. And then I think I'll just, I'll give you a look at how the packing in the new bags go and we'll see, we'll see how it is. Well, it took me about 10 minutes, but I consolidated everything. You can see here now, everything's been kind of condensed and I did separate a bit to the things that are for all of the trips in just Vegas and then the things that are for, um, just Pennsylvania, but Don's stuff is not as separable. A bowl? Yeah, that was too many bowls. Anyway, and I got my suitcases out. I've never packed these before, so I'm gonna do a, a dry run. I always do, and then once I figure out the best packing, I'll tape it and show you guys. So bag number one is ready to be packed. This is obviously Don stuff. It's actually all of Don stuff, and the, one of the main reasons I bought this particular suitcase is because I thought it would be perfect to fit Don's things, and I was right. I'm going to pack it now. I'll show you in fast motion, and you'll see exactly how I fit all of these things perfectly into that bag.
show you how I pack the majority of my things into the same size bag as Dawn's. I have reserved the heaviest items, which are mostly toiletries and electrical items that I use for the smaller bag to um, more evenly distribute the weight. my heaviest items into a third smaller bag. I did check and this bag is compatible with carry-on regulations but there's no need for us to carry it on at this point and I did pack a foldable duffel bag if you notice that blue kind of like blue pouch that I packed in my bag in the case that we'd rather carry on that kind of bag onto the plane to ensure that it absolutely be certain that it fits you know even on a regional sized jet which is very small and cabin space is limited um, so this bag we're going to check but I've decided to put all the heaviest items in it which include all of my toiletries and makeup and electrical items like my face brush my Clarisonic face brush and and my Garmin watch and my makeup mirror and also things such as um, sunscreen, which we will use up as the trip goes on and will make not only room, but uh, weight space for purchases. So we're not actually leaving for two, two days, so I did just open up the bags. Most of the things are packed in such a way that they won't wrinkle. And um, I only took out my makeup and um, my hanging clothes so they wouldn't be all folded up. So I just have the suitcases propped up like this. This is how I will leave them until we leave. They're all ready to go and I know exactly how I'm going to put in the last couple of things. Most of them I'm just going to throw the... Um, hanging clothes on top and put my makeup thing back in there and the few toiletries I need to pack and then I just went ahead and hung up our hanging clothes on this lamp actually um, just still in the hanging bags I know they'll be fine in there um, just to make sure that they don't don't wrinkle up just, just being folded in the bag and the only thing I have left to pack is my carry-on so I got all of that ready to go in there and then we'll be all set Well, I hope you guys got a sense of how awesome these bags are. I mean, they're honestly the roomiest bags of this size that I have ever personally used or seen in store or in, you know, wherever. Uh, they just, the Eagle Creek really did a great job of stripping out all of the stuff that wasn't necessary using really resilient but lightweight fabrics and materials that would endure a lot of you know, use, but also allow a lot of space and free up the weight that some luggage comes just on its own. Some bags of this size can be 15, 20 pounds without anything in them. Um, so it's nice to have really lightweight bags uh, to work with. And if you want to see a more in-depth look at the bags and, you know, hear about the specs and the weight and stuff, I did I did talk about that in the container store travel sale haul I posted last, which I mentioned before. There's the link below. But while I was packing, you know, I, I had kind of a firm idea. I knew I was going to end up bringing the two big ones, and I didn't know if I was going to just bring one of these little ones or two, if we were going to bring one on the plane, what, would, what the deal with that is. And through the packing process, I decided that 
you know, after looking at our flights, um, and noticing that we're on a couple of what they call regional jets, which are just really small airplanes. That's usually what we travel on when we fly to our um, vacation home in Utah. Um, so I'm used to flying on those planes. They really are very strict about what you can bring on the plane. And I really don't want to have to deal with, um, what do they call it, um, onboard check-in or whatever, you know, where, where they take your bag when you're getting on the plane because it's too big to fit in the overhead bin or in the seat below you. Um, because of that really quick hour, 15 minute layover we have when we're flying from Las Vegas to Pennsylvania, it's not a direct flight. It actually stops in Chicago O'Hare of all places. That's our, our home base airport. But we only have an hour and 15 minute layover, which is not a lot, especially with all the delays and stuff that tend to happen, it made me really nervous that our bags wouldn't get to Pennsylvania in time with us. And the place we're staying in Pennsylvania is actually about a 90 minute drive from the airport. So it's not like we can really expect to get our bags that night or, or even, I don't know, the next day. So I wanted to have an option to bring they are close through the evening, that evening, the first evening we're in Pennsylvania after coming in from Las Vegas, and for the next day, um, in the case that our bags don't make it, I just get really nervous about connections, and anything I can do for peace of mind is worth it for me, um, and I just didn't want to have to worry about this bag not fitting. I, I looked on the United website, that's the airline we're flying, and it does say that this bag is at the very limit of their like size requirements or maximum allowance, but I just rather safe than sorry, and then we don't have to worry about you know it not fitting or whatever. So I packed. I actually just pulled this out. I packed this little. Um, it's like a foldable duffel bag. This is from Lands End. This was a gift actually. Don got this as a gift, and I believe it was from his sister's wedding. I think this was a groomsman gift from that. It was from some wedding. It might have been from his sister's wedding. But this is great because it opens up. So it's this tiny little flat thing. It's very lightweight. It opens up to this really nice sized duffel bag. It's extremely lightweight, so it's not meant for heavy duty travel. We've used it quite a bit. Um, it's a great kind of just backup bag, especially if you think you're going to be doing a lot of shopping and you're worried about not having room in your luggage. This is great because you can just pop it in your bag. It adds a negligible amount of weight to your, your check -in, checked bag. And then on your way back, if you have more than you came with, you can just use this. Um, we've even checked this before, and it has been fine. But I thought this would be the bag to use as our carry-on to put our dress clothes in for the dinner in Pennsylvania the night we get in, and then our clothes for the next morning and day um, in the event that our luggage doesn't make it as quickly as we do. Um, and everything will fit comfortably in there and it's mushable so we can put it, you know, under the seat in front of Dawn because I'll have my bag in front of, under the seat in front of me or up in the overhead bin and it's small enough that even on a regional flight we can make this work and they won't take it away. So that's what I decided to do for this trip. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, I'm also more than happy to up, uh, uh, post an updated what's in my carry-on video um, because I did change that and I did post that video for our Disney trip but that was about a specific kind of packing of the carry-on because that was going to my first half marathon at Disney World and I wanted to pack all my race gear in my bag. This video would just show you how I pack that bag with sort of any any old trip kind of stuff not with running stuff in it and what I've become uh, accustomed to putting in there. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. And I'm also considering, if I have time, I'm not sure if it'll work out, but there are a couple other trips I could film this particular video for if it doesn't work out this trip, but how I unpack at a hotel and how I get organized at a hotel. So if I have a chance to film that, I'll definitely be posting that soon. If not, you can check back for it later in the summer after I've had a chance to do it on maybe another trip. Anyway, that is all I have to share today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and um, look, check out for news about my blog launching uh, this summer as well as, um, you know, more videos. I'm trying, I'm trying to get one up every week here on Organized Like Jen and I'm posting like crazy on my Housewife Life, my second channel. So if you miss me, you can go see me there. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Take care.